a long, long time ago. People told of legends, of people who had eyes and ears, and mostly eyes, on the entire map. These people were called map hackers, visionaries, before or after their time. With Legacy of the Void, they have all but been rooted out and destroyed. But we have a accusation of Hurricane, a master's protoss, accusated by Washiki, the Terran. Now, I know everybody has their opinions of Terrans against Protoss, but he has some evidence to back it up. Let's break it down. This is the story. Jimmy, call the team. So, first, I am looking at, okay, there's a lot. There's a lot of reading here. Oh, a follower. He looks at my main. There's a lot of... He looks at my main with no vision. It's not until six minutes is the first evidence. I'm just going to speed through. Using my great experience, I will attempt to determine whether the accusations will leave him guilty. We only have the single replay of this man. So, some things that can indicate it are obviously reacting to things that are not in vision. That can be that can be just good game sense, or uh, potentially just a timing. But there are some tells, besides spamming and jerking off your keyboard and getting 300 APM early. So far, just a standard opener. The Terran, might I add, is doing a three racks build. This is definitely something spicy over here. A one base all in. Thus, something that is very important to scout and defend against as a Protoss. Just to, just to set the scene. Okay. You see, this was the first accusation. He looks at the main. A little weird. Not necessarily anything. We're going to slow it down, see how he reacts from here. He takes a look, and... Chrono Boost out of Stalker. Another very suspicious look. Remember, he has not probe scouted. That probe builds a robo. This is very coincidental and suspicious, but there is nothing yet that is com confirmed. Beyond a reasonable doubt, why? Because it's more dramatic that way. I will be issuing, much like Angry Coach, a strike system when I feel there is significant evidence. So far, his build is a little confusing. Let me go back. Interesting. Let's take a look. Let me. I, I'm gonna bring this up so so you guys know I'm not just making it up. Let me um bring up the post from the Team Liquid, a a rarely seen thread nowadays because of how few hackers. In fact, there's only been like four or five accusations in the last year. But let's let's go over it now that now that he's been proven. Potentially accurate. Having a look. In fact, we're not even there. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is this is actually a different replay. It's this one. Looks at my army, no vision. My main, no vision. Looks at my army, no vision. Anticipates the Reaper. Sends an immortal to kill the Reaper. Oh, so this is the one we're looking at. Oh, we have another one. Hacker busted. Ignore that for now. Um, that sounds like clickbait. Because this wasn't. <laughs> Looking into the main is suspicious, but sometimes you set up camera locations. There are reasons to do so. They're just a little weird. Oh 
So the next indicator could be a Reaper. The Reaper jumping in, like, a Reaper's always going to jump in. That is that is part of playing Protoss. Like, that is well understood. And this is so far a, a relatively standard build. Taking down the rocks like a, a true wannabe. What was over? Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, let us. That was a suspicious timing to look in that direction. I would say. Let's slow it down a little. And as soon as he looks. Put one on the board, Jimmy. Okay, strike one. Jim, Jimmy, make the noise. We gotta know. We gotta be dramatic. Hmm. That's a solid hmm here. Yes. That is a little outside of the realm of coincidence. Like what? Even, even. So here's the thing. As a Protoss player, even if uh, I, for some reason, had vision of this area, I wouldn't necessarily look at it. Because I would know it's a Reaper. Like, I wouldn't have to look to see. It's not a guarantee, but the fact the Stalkers go from their geological expedition on the rocks to this area is... Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. I want to stress again, I think I, since it's been a while, this is one of the very few posts... And accusations I've seen in this entire year, and is in fact in the last few few years. Thus, the scrutiny. It is not some sort of plague on the ladder. This this is the exception proving the rule of which there are very few hackers out there. Potentially, we're not. I'm not ready to lay down the hammer yet, though that was incredibly suspicious. Wait. Okay. Remember, this is a one base all in, and he has not scouted it. The lack of building probes right now without scouting your opponent. This is this is a more meta situation. But if you thought this was a normal game, you would be building probes right now. There's no reason not to build probes. This is Masters. It's not High Masters. It's 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 like Masters one, but it's not Grand Master anything. But you would be building probes. It's odd not to build probes. That's an interesting click right there. Mm. Yeah, that's gonna give me a second strike. Uh huh. Is the Reaper moving? Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, who sends their immortal out? So now, the Terran, I'm like, it is, it is looking very bad here for Mr. Hurricane. He did just scout the army. Is it moving out? It is not moving out as of yet. Now, of course, there's no way to know that. With no vid. This is no commentary on the build of the Terran player. I'm not a huge fan of the build, but just generally. Oh, you know what? Get the fuck out of here! Hacker, 100% beyond a reasonable doubt, I will say, call in the team, bake them away, toys, confirmed. Another, like, can we get instant replay? Yes. 
what confirms it for me here is like one this is really suspicious but i mean okay but the fact that he looks at a seemingly random there's no scouting been done but he looks at a random part of the map that just happens to be exactly where the Terran's one base all-in army is. Just happens to be. Like, a lot of them added up to coincidence, but the fact it moved out and his move, like, the camera moved. Yeah, and now let's, let's add those nails to the, like, he had... It's not very, he's not trying to hide it very much, is he? Because he has not scouted a single goddamn solitary thing on the map. He's building, he, he sees the army move out, or he, he just intuits the army has moved out and decides, I'm gonna build two more shield batteries? Get the fuck out of here. No, absolutely not. What a joke. Confirmed. 100% he's ma he has the mini-map, and it, it appears there, there are plenty of forms of hacks. I'm not an expert, but I assume what he has is he has vision of the entire map without actually having vision of the map. I have OBS. That's, a uh, like, easily proven false. Like, with, with like, that is, pr like, that is an incredibly and, and flimsy... That's not even an excuse. Well, we looked at the replay. Confirmed. Hacker. Mm-mm-mm. Well, it's unfortunate to see it. But he didn't make very many attempts to hide it, I will say. So. Like... And that excuse was just incredibly poor. Looks like we got a new one. A Masters. Another Masters. Like, if it's below Masters, I'm hesitant to even look at it. But. We're turning this into a thing. I'm going to be going through most of the accusations from this year. Which shouldn't take that long. There are not many. He did not make an ops. He did not. Yeah, these aren't, like, I, I want to see one of those split hackers. Those are fun. Okay, so this is, I believe it is the uh, Protoss. Oh, it's another Masters Protoss. Hmm. But that first one was on North America. This one is on EU. It's a different player, we assume. But we will see. It's on the same map. Eternal Empire. Protoss, I will say, like, if you're a hacker. All right, Mr. Stereo Club. You stand accused of hacking by another Terran player, but this time on a different server on the same map. WD-40 on the other side has accused you. Wouldn't, as an absolute scrub, I'm answering Twitch chat right now. Wouldn't it be better to have yourself turned off the fog of war to see what he's actually looking at? That's the point. I can't both look at what his camera is looking at and turn off the fog of war. The fact that he's looking into the fog of war, and when we go into everyone cam, we see he has no vision on his screen. But the army is there on the every screen. That is what is the indicator he is hacking. He, we are looking at the information he should have, like in last game. And the fact he's looking into the fog of war with no vision, that is the evidence. So what do we have for this one? I mean, let me, speaking of the evidence, this one's from, uh, Six minutes. No vision. I send Reaper to Watchtower. Adjusting army. So, this one has a lot of 
circumstantial evidence. There's a lot of looking through Fog of War. That's probably the biggest indicator. Uh, but it isn't necessarily. Once again, this is like a couple weeks after that last replay. I, I need to stress this every time. I'm going to keep saying it. There are very few. Like, so this accusation here is from June 6th. The one before that, uh, May 17th. So that was two. Oh, wait, you guys can't see the date. May 17th. Besides whatever's going on with people posting YouTube videos, uh, that's it. That's all we got for the last few weeks. This is actually the last post in the thread right now. Okay, like, like, I'm just looking, that's a little weird, looking at the opponent base, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. The lack of scouting is sometimes, like, you, it, it doesn't seem like it's trying very hard. Like, whenever I see someone, it, there are legitimate reasons not to scout. Like, there are plenty of builds that don't necessarily involve scouting. But, uh, active, like, like not even sending a probe scout out is quite, like, I don't, I can't think of the last time I've seen, and, and this is, like, lower masters. So, it doesn't necessarily mean, like, a pro does it, therefore they have to do it. But, I can't actually remember the last time a professional Protoss player was expanding in the early game against Terran, like a gate expand, and didn't probe scout. I don't... I'm sure there was a time, but, like, it is incredibly out of the ordinary. Like, at least scout to see if uh, their barracks is in their base, right? Like, Important concern. A dark shrine. It's a bull. He just looked at his opponent's base. Once again, you're like, but I can't see anything. Yes, that's the point. Cancel the dark shrine, that's fine. And he puts it right back. charge uh okay so like this is incredibly suspicious doing this so many times is very like the a widow mine just started like looking so here's the everyone cam here's the protoss cam everyone protoss everyone protoss and then moving the camera multiple times Oh, come on. Put some F? Okay. <laughs> he scouted like he had an observer in the base. But as... But as we know... He's just got to make sure he's get, got all his camera locations set up, all right? Oh, my God. Oh, motherfucker. Don't you dare. 
Okay, the Widow Mine drop just got sent out. So, this is a scenario. I will say, a pro player would probably do this. They would probably be like, okay, a Widow Mine drop could be coming in. That is, they wouldn't bring all of their stalkers. They'd leave one in the wall to make sure that Hellions can't get in. But, like, this timing in and of itself is not insanely suspicious. But... The, the the decisiveness at which this player who has not scouted is doing that is like you should the fact that he puts a probe in the wall like I don't know like, if that the fact he puts in a probe in the wall is actually a point in his favor because if he does see the mini map slash the map he should know that nothing's going to threaten the wall DT Blink. Wow. Crazy build. Oh, come on, man. Like, the fact that he's not perfectly on point dealing with this Widowmine drop. That This is actually a point in his, like, in his defense so far. It's, it's borderline suspicious. It could also be explained by him actually just being not good. There's no solving being slow or inaccurate. From the shadows. Like, the fact that there was no reaction to this. This is actually a point still in his favor. This is a very poor reaction to the Widow Mine drop, but. Like, so far, recently, even with the Widow Mine drops, it. We're kind of in the uncanny valley area of things. Of like. Yeah, he definitely should have known the Liberator was coming, but that could be explained by him being banned. But remember! They're not just guilty because we're accusing them. And by accusing, I mean whoever this guy on Team Liquid is. There are some suspicious moves, but nothing decisive. We saw the last one, by the way. Remember. Um, that one was very obvious. This one, not so much right now. Okay, this... This is interesting. What am I seeing up here? Hmm. He's just, like, it's not going great for him. So far he's struggling. There's still a Liberator there. I don't know if he realizes... I mean, he obviously doesn't realize there's a Liberator there. Like, he's not good. Either way, like, whatever, however we come down on this, he's not a good player. Um, uh, that was, like... I mean, come on. <laughs> So that liberate he walled off his base so much that he can barely deal with the liberate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's he's really struggling with this Terran over here. Remember, this was this is a low masters game. Like there are plenty of Protoss who real like, well, just players in general who really struggle. They have their one cheesy build, and that's it. Like, there are some suspicious looks, but not necessarily that suspicious. I'm here in the shadows. He finally kills the Liberator. The struggle, though. The struggle is so real. No, 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 stop, stop twisting evidence like, well, he look, he is only at this level because uh, he hacked. No, 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 there has been no actual, like, conclusive evidence 
a couple looks at the fog of war that are suspicious but in and of themselves are not nearly enough like there might be I, i'm just gonna go through it and if we want to double take on things we'll take a look again Like, these kind of looks are suspicious, but not decisive. Because sometimes you just move your camera up, you might want to send your units up, whatever. The, the amount he's doing it is be, like, at some point it does become evidence. Like, and it's getting a little, a little much here. Oh my god. I mean, that was a terrible blink. Oh my god. Wow. He's, he's, he's not very good. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's very bad. Okay, like, I don't... He's, he's not good. That That is clear. Like, he keeps doing this. He keeps doing this. Now, this could be like looking... Ugh. He's got to stop looking in the... It's, none of these individually is enough. But the amount of times he keeps looking at the base... He is getting like... Ah, uh, bro... Like, come on, you gotta stop. You gotta stop doing this. It's making it very hard. Like, he's not doing any, he has his next eye selected. I... Okay. Like, it's, it's added up to enough. Like, if he was, like, doing an... A What am I looking at? Okay. Stop, like... This, I think this is starting to tilt over into being an example of a player who actually would probably be better if they... I'm leaning towards it right now, but let's assume he's hacking. Let's just assume that. He would probably be better if he wasn't. Because he, he's worrying so much about what his opponent is doing and not worrying nearly enough about what he's doing. Like... <laughs> this will work against like, against, like, a one base all-in, for example. Yeah, it's gonna do great. But, uh... <sighs> if you're constantly staring at, like, build one observer! It's easier! Where are you going? Why are you moving? Hmm. There's a me it's two medevacs coming out. Um. Oh Bro, bro, you gotta, bro. I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Don't say I didn't.
I'm gonna like I need one more. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, I... Get the fuck out of here! Calling the team. Bake them away, toys. Like, if he built one observer, he'd give himself the, the like, reasonable doubt. All he had to do was build one observer this entire game, and he's had the money. Like, if he... If he had built one observer, even if he had kept doing all this, I feel like I would still be a little tiny bit on the fence. But he has not built a single one. He's actually just, his macro is so bad, he's struggling. He's still worrying way too much about his opponent. This is surprising he's caught off guard here. I don't know if he was caught off guard, but... It kind of felt like it. Oh my god! Like, that, that's something you're like, okay, he's rallying his army. He's just so bad. Like it's just it, it's from the shadows. I... The decisive amount of clicking there, like now that's. Probably not the best base. <sighs> there, there are moments where I'm like, you know what? Maybe not. But... And then he immediately, like, goes starts staring at his opponent's base again. Like... Where was the army? Mm. This one wasn't as conclusive, but I think the reason is because the player himself was actually quite bad. It wasn't as decided. Like, it, it feels bad because there's still that little bit of doubt, but not really. Ugh. It, it was too much. The, uh, the amount, like, the total amount. Um, there's just too much randomly, randomly looking at the base. It's just too much. Here's another. This one. Another EU Masters, TVT, Masters 1. No one has fun staring at Fog, not that. Like, it was just way too much. If it's like two or three times, or if he had built one, like, it's, how is it not easier to just build one Observer? I'm annoyed at how lazy it is. This is from January. 
to get another one, I had to go back to January. So Jesus like, we're gonna get like all three to five this year. Thank you, BT Monkey Man. Leave all cam on so we can see what he's looking at. No, no, no! Like I'm, t like you can't do that. You can't both see what he's looking at and have all cam on. Like I, I explained this last time. You cannot go to the everyone cam and also be on the camera of the person accused of hacking. That's not how it works. The game isn't designed for that. And that is the point. You can't, like, like say, okay, if I go to everyone cam, I cannot follow the camera of one of the players. But if I go to their camera, I see what they see, which should be uh, nothing in the fog of war. In case that, like, for the people like, well, well, what is happening on the everyone? That's the point! It's the point! We we're, we're keep going over it. The entire point. His name is Tarching. Okay. The game itself doesn't allow you to see in the fog of war like that. I need to be hacking the replay just to compare. Wait, what if, if we pause, then open everyone and see? You mean like I've been doing every goddamn time? This is, this is, uh, less, less evidence. Like, we're reaching here. This is from January. Um, is he's very suspicious. It's just generally suspicious. So we're really, uh, fishing a little here, but. Oh, a follower. Thank you, Catholic. Like, I appreciate how people are almost like, they're like right on the edge of understanding why hacks are kind of bullshit. Because of the, te literally the technical limitations of replays even, so. I, I, th they're relatively good questions. Like, if I could see where he's looking and see the everyone cam, well, that's probably what he's doing, so. And no have fun. No fun for you. Hacker confirmed. This is EU. Nobody has fun on EU. So. This is Masters 1, by the way. This is over 5k MMR. So... Like, I, I don't think I'd even look at one below, like, Diamond, because whatever. The fuck? What the fuck? Okay, that's already a like... I, I don't want to be leading here, because we're in the, like, we're looking for hackers move. Fast forward. Why would I fast forward when... Okay, so let us first, okay, so the SCV is down there, but then instead of doing that, he moves the SCV out of the way. He was already pre-pulled, okay, it's already, he already pre-pulled a second SCV. And dodged with his first one. I, like... <clears throat> that's not an X in a normal game. But, like... That's not nearly that's enough in and of itself. That <laughs> Maybe he was scouting with that SCV. Okay, maybe. The Reaper is usually telling. Like, the Reaper can be telling. Okay. Oh, my God. He's slow. He moved to the right spot. Once again, not, not decisive anything. 
It's TVT is the most common matchup to not scout him, by the way. In case, like, in case that seems suspicious, TVT sometimes b pro players will not will not really scout each other besides units for four or five minutes. I mean, usually there's the Reaper exchange, but oh, I can't believe he bit on that. All right, tell me. Keep your eyes peeled. Anything? SCV ready. Nothing, nothing. Just normal TVT. SCV ready. Okay. These hackers be like fog of war, 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 fog of war. So he just moved to here, which is not war, fog. Of war, fog, 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 of war. That is suspicious. That is very suspicious. But just like the last one, it seems his macro is pretty poor. This is what happened. Like, if that's actually kind of an issue for players, like. It's it's like when when you're scouting with your reaper too much, you're focused so much on what your opponent is doing, you're not as worried about what you're doing. And we're keeping that presumption of innocence here. Why did he move to the main? Uh, I think that was a misclick. Let me slow it down here. Mm, okay. He's not looking into the fog of war. He's just, like, a more advanced hacker. And, and like, I'm trying to toe the line between having fun with it and actually being legit. Like, a more advanced hacker wouldn't have to look at the mini- like, like, wouldn't have to move their camera to see, oh, a medevac's moving there. Like, we saw in the last one, yeah, obviously not a very good player. Keeps staring directly into the screen, like... <laughs> no, if- if I were to have map hacks, which would be, like, what I would use them for, as a relatively decent macro player, uh, would be knowing if they're expanding or not. Like, if I could just get away with a quicker third, like this guy has done, on a regular basis, if I could get upgrades because I know that I'm not going to be threatened, that takes, like, like you can cut a whole lot of corners and get ahead without ever looking at their base. Without ever, like, all you need to know is if are things coming across the map. Like, if you could, if I could just see the mini-map at all times, that'd be a huge advantage. But wouldn't be that visible most of the time like like you can adjust your build a little bit be a little greedier be a little less like um but what usually happens is hackers try to take advantage of that vision as opposed to use it to get smaller edges uh because they're lazy fucks could you beat Cyril with this hack i couldn't beat Cyril if i was in one of those custom maps where you start with five thousand minerals okay maybe five thousand but if i if i started with twice as many workers as Cyril, then maybe I would have a chance. Doesn't like if I had perfect map hacks, I wouldn't have a like if the only thing I had was perfect map hacks, I would have a fucking dream against Cyril. If I had perfect map hacks and he could only use his mouse, then maybe it's a competition. Like maybe. <laughs> no, the way Cyril, like Cyril, you've seen it before. He's he's just 
Harstam has described it as watching tennis. It's just doesn't matter if you know it's coming. You can't stop it. Like, <laughs> So far, like, besides the little early game stuff, there hasn't been much. Like, his build was a little suspicious. What is this? I think, did he see the raven? I think, yeah, I mean, you could easily see the raven. Ready for dust off. Armory, build your armory. This is... Okay. Like, this isn't suspicious. That's a weird attack angle, but it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I could come at this... I think a lot of people, at least historically, have been like, everything is evidence of guilt. Like, I could be like, well, he knows there's nothing out of the map, so therefore he can make the bold action of coming across the entire map and engaging the base. But no, like, this is not a surprising angle to attack from, right? Go, go, go. This is not uh, significantly out of the realm of ordinary. Like, when it comes to accusations, everybody is suddenly, like, like, everybody is such a high opinion of Masters and Grandmasters. Let me tell you, as a Master slash Grandmaster player, that opinion is is too high. But as soon as you get, like, a hacker or a accused hacker, it's like, oh, he should be a fucking genius. No, no, no. As you know... Like, this is a weird attack, and it didn't go great, but it's going okay-ish. Like, that the angle is good because he came in out of the sensor tower range, so. And then he got dunked on there, so. This is just, like, he needs to stop here. Just generally, like, this is not working out for you. The macro was pretty poor behind it. He didn't have his five racks up. Where the fuck are you going? Is there a reason he's taking so... So, this is what I mean by, like, the more advanced would be just having the mini-map. So, if I just had, like, if you load this up, and you're going for a doom drop, and you just didn't attack. What pathing path do you use? Assuming you don't see anything. You probably go straight towards, or very close towards the main. But the active moving, like, let's let's bring, remember, I can't, I can't show you the camera and the everyone cam at the same time. I can't do that. But the everyone cam shows an army moving out. Um... in the area those medevacs just were. So that is... Like, he is rallying his units like he's preparing for a base trade. While still... Like, this is still not significant. Like, it's not far enough out of the realm of ordinary. This isn't enough. It's, it's suspicious, but it's not enough. That's a weird boost. It just dunks it home. No scan. Like, this is another, like, 
94% of players at Masters 1 Plus would have at least scanned at the last second. Wait, did he just pull workers from his third? Did I miss that? I mean, once again... This is like, maybe you're preparing for a base trade, but it's 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 straining suspicion to pull SCVs from the third. It's intensely straining suspicion with no scans. Like it is, it is. I think yeah, it it's too much. That's that's too much. It's straining it way too much. There are too many coincidences now, even for me. So that's, that's two. Like, pulling the SCVs without knowing where the army is while base trading blindly. Like, like where is the opponent's army? It is, at this stage, headed towards the third. But not quite there yet. It is a lot to suspend some... Like, this is insanely risky to do if you have no idea where the army is. You don't pull your SCVs from the third, doom drop the main, with no vision of their army. That is, like, almost unbelievably reckless or incredibly suspicious. Oh, come on. Like, uh... Yes, the army just came into vision, but like, it that split second. Like, did he start lifting before or after the army was in vision? Come on, bake them away, toys. Fell in the team. <sighs> now here's the thing. Like, here's what gets me. Is he has a not unrealistic chance of holding this if he just rallied his army to his third as well. Like, he's already going for this because he's not very good. It's it, He's hacking. He's hacking. I can say beyond a reasonable doubt. This is too much. There are too many coincidences. I think he has the minimap. That's what I like. Maybe it's just the minimap. But if it's just the minimap, that explains most of this. The way he's acting is like he sees the minimap at all times. Our SCVs are under attack. Ready for he could have defended the natural. But once again, that comes down to like, he's just not very good. He didn't pull it second, so he's not hacking. No, he's just slow. That's actually the explanation. <laughs> the boys kill a tank! Wait, whose scan is that? Wait, what? That's, no, oh, that's the other guy's scan. Notice how he didn't scan at all. Like, okay, what is, if nothing else, High-level TVT is like a fucking Costco checkout past the 10-minute mark. There are scans all over the place. Sometimes multiple scans from the same player at the same time. You got scan here. Where's your army? Where's your army? Where's your army? Where's your army? Like, not a single scan is almost damning in and of itself. Like, <laughs> at apparently Masters 1, not a single scan in a Marine Tank TVT. That is... Highly unusual is an understatement.
He made a lot of actions and adjusted them this way. Like, oh, there just happens to be a command center up there. That's weird. Unfortunately, though, his army got crushed because he was so busy t dealing with that command center. <laughs> He's actually just slow. I think he's still gonna lose because he's actually like the other player is significantly better. Add on. Where are you? At? Where's the other army? Okay. This guy's scanning all over the place. He's like, "Excuse me, sir, where did you go?" Not a single scan. That's weird that he looked there at that time as well. Like, he macros like a high diamond player, but he's in Masters 1, which, if you can, if you just don't die to cheese or all-ins because you know they're coming, then you can definitely bump yourself up about that much. He actually scanned there. Like, he, he did actually scan. But here's, here's the devil's advocate, and we've already, he's already guilty. He's 100% hacking. There's so much on the minimap, if he only has minimap hacks, and he hasn't looked into the Fog of War once, he can't actually tell on the minimap where exactly the army is. So the scan is because he, be, even if he has the minimap, he doesn't exactly know what he's looking at. Like, is that, is that the main army? Is that tank? The, the first scan is directly on the obvious location where everything is. And I think it, it is because of that reason. Scans 30 has never seen. I mean, there's a fucking sensor tower. And that's been there for 10 minutes. A competent player or observer would have realized there's probably a base there. That was not in doubt. But... Okay. Ready for dust off. Gameway coming through. Is the army halfway across the map? Of course it is. Like now I'm trying to think what I would do if like what what does the mini map look like to do these things? Unfortunately, there's so much on the minimap. Oh no. Is this? this be good. Go, go, go. I mean, this is just a slow reaction, but that's a that's a bad move from the other guy. But str he's struggling very much with controlling both sides. It's a real struggle. The other Terran is obviously better. Upgrade complete. Okay, so if I was, if I had the mini map, what did I just see? I saw a base up here and probably like a small army here. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird-ass fucking siege right there for someone who doesn't have any goddamn vision. Yeah, that's a, that's an impressive siege. Yes, he just got scanned, but he ha was sieging before the scan, by the way. Oh, no. The other guy just lost, I think. That is unfortunate. It's a tough one. Like, he got caught off guard. Of course he did, because, like, why would he be there? 
Why was he there? He shouldn't have been there. That's a dumb place to be if you don't know where the army is. He's sending out a marine like he's pretending to scout now. Okay. He's like, how do you do this? Okay. This is the first time he's done this, by the way. I think he realizes he's made some very suspicious moves. And now he's like, oh, okay, I'm scouting with marines. This is the first time he's done that. But I think I think that last fight win. Now he's now this is covering. Right here. That's what that's what we're looking at. Ready for dust off. Unfortunate like you can tell as a as a master something Terran player, especially Masters One Plus, it shouldn't take you like ten seconds to send up send it like to figure out how to send one marine out. He has no army hotkeys. Like you can tell this is it's like the weirdest thing. He's struggling so much with it. He's like, oh yes, of course, go scout marine. <laughs> ah yes, I'm scouting for this base. Oh, there's a base there. How crazy is that? He moved before he saw it. I'm just looking. I'm just looking around. Take a look around there. Okay. Once again, we're going to play... Well, the Marine Scout was actually super useful there. Assuming he had no other vision. So what I see here is an army coming around the north side. Okay? That's where it is. There's an army right here. He's moving directly to intercept, which isn't even that suspicious. No, he's not. I was wrong. Then why does he go that way? Ready for dust off. Like, beyond a shadow of a doubt, he's hacking. But this is actually, this adds an extra flavor here for his second scan of the game. Just complete and total whiff. No idea where he is. Oh, where did he go? I don't know. I guess I'm safe to move here. Did he actually not realize that? He might actually be in a still a struggle situation. I'm kind of surprised. Like, he should have the army to just win the game, but he's base trading again. Oh my god. Yeah, but, but, he did a decent job covering it, to be honest. Like, by the way. Get the fuck out of here! Like, the last couple minutes, I think he, after he won that very suspicious timing fight, he's like, oh, what, what do actual Terrans do? <laughs> yeah, he's got 100 APM less playing the same unit composition. Well, it's 100 APM less when you don't scan, send Marines out. Do any sort of scouting until you've already won the game. That was, uh, once again, like, we only have these three replays from the entire year. I think there might be one more, but it's a 2v2, which I barely even count. Uh, yeah, until, like, he, it was just so much. There were so many things. I feel like he just had the minimap is what it, what it looked like. Okay, there's a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have one more. Another European. We have one more for this whole year. Oh, it's the same guy. It's the same guy, but two months later. Four months later. We have the same guy, but now he's in Grandmaster. It's Tarching again. Four months later, someone in May hit him in Grandmaster. You might be like, well, well, he, he wasn't Grandmaster... 
Well, if you actually play StarCraft relatively regular for four months, and you're already met like Masters 1, it's not unreasonable to think you could get to Grandmaster. Like, uh... It's not off the table. Like, he may have actually learned a macro. Let's see. And it's not like... We're, we're at like 5,600, 5,700 MMR here. Before, it was like 52. They never banned... Like, once again, I might point out, these are... I, I'm going to go through the threat. Just, I'm, I mean, you can see it yourself, but... Jimmy, get the things off the screen. Okay. So... This was the this was the first one. This was January. And then this guy also agreeing he's fishy. This is uh wait wait wait, there might be a different guy. I'm not sure. This is referencing a different game from last year. Um and then in March, this is a 2v2 which I ignored. And then also in March, oh wait, this is March. Never mind. This is May. There were no accusations between March and May, but this is actually two weeks later. Never mind. Radnap is, is finding those hackers, okay? He's finding them. No matter where they are, no matter where they go. We already did this one from earlier. So, and, and Team for those who don't know, Team Liquid Net, Teal Net, is uh, pretty much the hub, especially for higher level players. Uh, it is the the community site. Uh, it, it's where Liquipedia comes out of. Essentially, it, it is the forum outside of your average social media for higher level StarCraft players. So, in case you guys didn't know. Well, apparently this guy is named Froz, but it's a name change. He name changed from Tarching. For those who don't know, you can change your profile name once a season. When the season resets, you can change your profile name. But you still have the same account tag, which you can tell when you upload a replay. So. Break it down for me, guys. I'll be right back. Tell me if I need to go back. We'll see. We'll see. Command center upgrade complete. Complete. 
Mineral field depleted. I'm sure everything has been perfectly on. Uh, I apologize, guys. At 220, he killed the real. Oh, you see, I knew. We got the neighborhood watch over here. You see, part of it. Okay. I gotta go back, get a little context. Having an early reaper, not that suspicious. Check the chat log. Oh, well, we'll get there, I'm sure. Command center upgrade complete. Okay, one SCV. Mm-hmm. The second SCV fault is definitely incredibly suspicious. Like, this, you don't do this unless you know for sure. He knows. This is Grandmaster, by the way. Like, this is, yeah, that, like, this is actually GM. We're going to assume these players have some fraction of competence. That does not happen. There is a tiny chance he's played the guy and he knows... But, like, in about 40% of TVTs, the Reaper, like, it has a bodyguard SCV, as I call it. That's a normal strat, like, to try to throw it off and win the Reaper duel. Against any Terran. Complete. It is, it is an incredible leap for me to believe that he's timed it out so perfectly it's worth pulling two SCVs. Because there is a scenario, like... If he isn't going to scout from that exact location, like if the Reaper isn't going to come in from that exact location, or he's not bringing another SCV, there's no reason to pull two SCVs. That is, that stretches the bounds of uh, acceptability there. It's not huge, like it's not conclusive, but it is a bit like it. we're, it's, it's there. It's a strike, but. Also, why are there no SC? Did he pull SCVs from the natural here? Okay, so the army's coming out. There are no SCVs at the net. He already pulled it back. He has not, by the way, he has, like, <laughs> once again, it's not decisive, but not scouting is already suspicious. Like, not even, it, but we're at the stage of the game where in TVT you might not necessarily have scouted yet. Uh, especially if you feel like you need all your Reapers, though you probably Command should have scouted. He's not even building out of his natural. Which is, like, that that's just a, a tiny little detail, but. Okay. What? Why? What are you doing? I'm confused here. I'm trying to think about what I would like. I'm in 
That's an odd move. Why would you flip off the tech lab? For the barracks, right? But, like, why would you put a barracks on a tech lab this early? I know he's changing add-ons. I'm not... Okay, neighborhood watch, calm down. But that doesn't make any sense to do this. Or, like, why not get a raven? Like, ever, you get a raven, though. Like, raven's too much micro for someone who doesn't use any control groups. I do agree. That's fair. Add on. Field depleted. Yeah, game time made it to top eight GM by essentially. It's not fair to say he only used the Selecta Army hockey, but you don't call it like you don't call it a carrot stew if there's beef in it. Let's put it that way. He's got to be moving out with this, right? If he starts clicking towards the third, once again, I'll tell you what an actual Grandmaster would do here. Remember, before we started this, I beat a Grandmaster Terran in TVT. Like a pretty advanced TVT. That was a lot of fun, by the way. And you on YouTube? Like and subscribe, and you still won't see it, because I probably won't upload it. Uh, it was a sick game. You have sent out a Marine, a Reaper, a Hellion, what the fuck ever. Okay? Like, you've sent out one of those things. You might not have scanned. Okay. But you haven't sat in your base for five and a half minutes after someone did, like, a one base pressure here. Stop. You, you, don't, you don't do that. Like, that's, that, that's not something you do. He has no idea. All, well, it, we're assuming, remember, this is the same guy as before. We're assuming he has the minimap. That's, that was made very, he at least has the minimap. It looks almost certain he, he has the minimap, and that's it. Um, in fact, like, that can help you hide it by not having more than the minimap, because the minimap is enough to get you to, in this case, Grandmaster. Um, so, seeing nothing on the map would open you up. Like, this is... He could have just fucking died. Any sort of tank push, any sort of raven pressure, anything. If, if like, there's no vision at all in the center of the map. Look at the mini-map. There's nothing there. I don't. But, if you knew what the mini-map said, the mini-map says there's nothing there. Like, you don't have to worry about it. But he has no way of knowing that through normal StarCraft mean. Complete. Like, this is, at best, in like, at, at very best, Devil's Advocate, an insanely risky attack. Like, in, in ridiculously risky. Like, a gamble not even drunk parting would take on a regular basis. Though you never know, right? Like... Research complete. That's fair. Like, though it might come off poorly. Like, what the fuck? Who does that? The, the like, literally though. Who does that? That's true. Like, it's it's fair. Cause who does that? Nobody does that. The, the main is undefended, which is probably an oversight on Adnaps. Oh come, on. like oh come oh that yeah that's. That's... It's the little things. The stim. The stim into the third. 
it, like, until the stim into the third did we not cross over into, okay. Until that point, there was plausible deniability. There was, this is just like a risky build that sometimes works out. But, look at the minimap. And yes, question mark. And, sure, in, in a vacuum, you might be like, well, he's just moving his units into the third to see if it's there. But, the decisiveness, like, no, no. You don't move fucking three marines and a hellion into a third base unless you know there's nothing fucking there. Like, this is, I know you're building a third. That, 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 like, what that says to me, if, if I had perfect vision of the minimap, I know you're building a third. That's exactly what I would do. Three marines, that's it. That's all you need. I, c I could, in a vacuum, be like, sure, he's scouting the third with a few marines. Whatever. But this is not in a vacuum. At all. Like, I don't... Unfortunately, like, he fucked up the, the micro, the A move, but... This is remember. This is Grandmaster. We're, we're fa like these are competent players, relatively. Ed uh, Nap is banking money, probably out of rage, and I'll give him that. That's fair. Cause it was implied they'd play before as well. Well, he's 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 just not good though. Like the thing is, like he moved down to engage the army, but that's not how you do it. Like the the actual execution there was so like that was very bad. If he had set up his tanks correctly and spread his marines, he could have crushed that. But when you don't use control groups. It becomes difficult. No, like, once again, in a vacuum, okay, that happens. Any, like, any Grandmaster, even sometimes pro players will have fights like that. But it's not in a vacuum. It's a cumulative amount. Oh, no. He has not scanned once this game, I might add. So you only load this up if the army is nowhere near you. Like, he has not a single... Look at the, look at the fucking mini map. Jesus Christ. Look at it! Jimmy, Jimmy, bring up the secondary mini map. What the fuck, Jimmy? Why don't... What am I even paying you for? Oh my god. I give up. We'll figure that out later. Wait. No, this one. Yeah. Look at it! This is his vision. He sees nothing. The only way, like, the army has to be over halfway back. Yep, there's nothing on the map. There's nothing at all. He has no way of knowing that. No way of knowing that. And he loads up a risky ass drop. Field this is it's not like he's taking damage that would imply he needs to do something as well what did I just see there In a vacuum. He 
Like, so the reason you don't put missile turrets in there is because nobody just drops like that because it's too stupid. But... Oh my god, the scrambles. That's still gonna go poorly. Yeah, I don't like. While Adnap, I think, could have fought it out. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Considering this is the same player, that's 100%. Like, no question. I'm, I'm, I'm without a doubt. At the very least, he has the minimap, though that last look at the missile turrets was very suspicious, so, yeah. Mm. Get him the, the fuck, fuck out, out of here. here! Well, we've had, this was essentially all of the, uh, at least 1v1 replays from this entire year. It's gonna make hacking look like a thing that is a big issue in StarCraft. But this is the exception proving the rule. I want to make that clear again, like... Let, like, there might be one or two more, but literally, from January on through June. So, that's actually only three. But three for three. I think people have got, like, they become so rare when you do find one, it becomes pretty obvious, to be honest. Um, and they should be banned. Yes. Blizzard has a tendency, I think it was to explain. Thank you. Enjoy this morning. Thank um, you, sir. but... Usually hackers don't get banned individually unless it's blatant or in a tournament. Instead, time is taken to figure out exactly what they're doing. So that way it can be prevented in the future. Because one or two people, yes, it's a problem. But they can just make a new account and do the same thing. So, uh, I don't know if these players have been banned yet, and they should. But hopefully... They will, like many, many, many others in the past, and whatever they're using, prevent it. But hopefully, this was fun. Uh, this makes it clear that even if you are in the incredibly rare chance facing a hacker, you still probably got a pretty good shot against them, considering how bad their macro is. Um, and uh, just proves how, how little it's a thing. Like, it, it became a meme in earlier StarCraft 2 and StarCraft, because it was a lot more common, but it's just not there today. It is fun to watch, though. My favorite part, I think my favorite of all this, was, tell me yours, leave a comment, was when he tried to cover for it. Like, like it was after not scanning the entire game in the previous one. It's when he started, like, for the very first time, sending Marine Scouts out. Uh, like... 20 minutes in, he's like, whoa, like to act, act like an actual Terran player. No, no. Is gone. Already guilty. Yeah, maybe we'll get some split hacks. Split hacks are just super obvious and get banned immediately, though. Like, split, like, the, the type of hacks where stalkers immediately blink when they hit, like, 50% HP, those ones are, it, if you don't play StarCraft, you could tell. So that one just... Replay, go! Replay, go! Goodbye, thank you!